just I just want to say a quick thank you to Isabel and Stu, David Dolman, David Charleston and Rev Andy for buying me a coffee. You really are very, very kind. Thanks ever so much. For the boat safety, because this is a gas pipe, I'm just going to put some more supports on there. Maybe two there and maybe one there. So one, two, three, four extra supports. I think it has to be, it's got to be supported every 150 millimetres so I'm going to put some extra supports in I'll see you in a bit I've just drilled and countersunk one of these one of these look I've countersunk that so that so that fits in there and then on the back of that I'm just going to put this screw in to there to hold the to hold the pipe when I mean, this this has passed its boat safety in the past but now the rules have changed so these extra clamps will be beneficial anyway isn't it you get the general idea so I've got to do that one two another one over there and I'll show you the results all right Right, the first one in place. I'm going to put another 150 mil to there. Alrighty. There you go. Because it look at the LED lock. Because it's LED light. How weird, isn't it? Look, all those one, two. So we get another light. Wait a minute. I've got a battery torch, not LEDs. One, two, three, four clamps on there now. Look. So that should be sufficient support for that gas pipe under the new regulations. That's that job done. I've also, bear with me, come on. I'm going to show you this. Boat's in a bit of a mess. I've also put, I've got pipes here. Look, I've put extra supports on those as well. Hey, I'm just trying to. Uh, I found the guy coming back, I want to come on board and then pass me pass me BSC and that's it, he's off again. I want to keep paying, you know? So I'm trying to do everything I can. Next test tomorrow is a bubble test. Alright? Lovely. What I'm doing here is I'm just making a a little platform for the gas pipe to sit on so I can just screw it down to make sure that's secure in the gas locker. And I'll show you why. I'm doing this all right be there look the gas pipe's not supported so i'm just going to put a plank in and support that wiped it with some thinners i've got the <coughs> bit of wood ready with the clamps on to be glued in situ with this crap no more nails if i leave it long enough hopefully it'll glue so here we go i'll show you when i finished so I've just glued that in situ and when it's dry I'll put a couple of small screws into that pipe. Um, that should be hopefully good enough for the BSC. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Also glued, I can't really see that or not, a bit of wood on the back of there. You see that? So I can put a screw in there when it's dry. I had to take my bubble tester off, can you see why? The glass is completely black. I can't see a thing. All it must have congealed, all the polyurethane glycol, propylene glycol, sorry, it's gone funny. This is my, this is my bubble tester, as you can see, look at the glass. I didn't realise this, I thought to myself, that's not supposed to be black. I'm looking at all the bu bubble testers to see the colour of the glass and it's and it's clear. Look at mine. So I'm going to take this off. It's, uh, <coughs> camera's fell over. I'll take this off if I can. <coughs> oh, it does come off. I don't know whether it unscrews or not. I think it can change. There's no videos about this. Mm. What's in here then? It's supposed to be full of oil. Oh my God, look at the state of that. Oh my Lord. 
I think that glycol has gone it's gone disgusting hasn't it oh my word look at that look at the colour of it um, so I'm going to clean this out give that a wash soapy water and I'm going to go and get some more oil so pro propylene glycol to go back in there oh my well look at the state of that right okay I've got my gloves on now just in case propylene glycol is just a it's a liquid that doesn't uh, freeze and mine's gone mine's gone a little bit funny hasn't it oh my word look at that let's get this cleaned out and hopefully it will clean out if not i'm gonna to have to get a new one they're 50 quid i don't want to spend 50 quid the, the liquids four pounds to replace the bubble testers themselves are 50 large i don't want to spend 50 large we can see it getting clear now look already look See that? It's getting better already, isn't it? Mm, look at that. There's an O-ring there, look. Don't want to lose that O-ring. Yeah, that's getting clear already, look. That's good. Oh, this is going to work, though. That's great. I was going to get the fluid from Midland Chandler's. See there, look. Better, isn't it? One more go with this, and I think we're cooking with gas. Got a bit of a clean out inside there, but you can see the difference now, can't you? That's supposed to be clear. Just got to get rid of that bit there. Hey, rippers. Like that. Give that a clean out. A bit of time. Right. Okay. There you go. There you go. I've cleaned that out. Cleaned out down there. So all I need to do now is put this O-ring back on. Fill it full of oil and screw it back in again. And then hopefully that'll be a clean bubble tester. Blimey, I didn't even know that. I've learnt now, so filthy thumbs up. Here is place I can get propylene glycol. It's hard to say that word. Propylene glycol is... A marina about 23 miles away and it's only £4.30. It's going to cost me a tenner in fuel to spend £4.30 but I need it. I need it now because otherwise I can't use my gas. So I'm going to go to that uh, Chandlery Marina, whatever it is. Do you want to come with me? What do you mean no? Oh come on. Would you... oh, get your stuff on then. Get your jacket on. Yeah and get your scarf. Don't forget your wallet. You're going to spend some money. Still there? Turn it off, Will. Oh, 25 miles, hoping that the propylene glycol... It's the sachet that big. It's not enough, surely. Topping up the liquid. Oh, man. So I need to find a, the, another Chandler to get some more. Blimey, a storm's picked up outside. Oh, it's windy as hell. Look at that. Propylene glycol. It's a bit dark, isn't it? onto that mark there and a little bit more in there don't I? I think yeah look at that a wool test sorted four pound twenty it cost me for that fluid i don't think there's enough in the sachet but it's plenty oh i'm well chuffed it's your part number if you need it propylene glycol for your bubble testers filthy thumbs up right got a ptfe tape on there I'll stick it back on now, then rips. The yeah, bubble tester refitted. There's clear, proper liquid in it. And there's no, just press that. No bubbles. Perfect. Right. Uh, Chris the Examiner 
he said that um, it passed anyway but he checks the uh, ventilation he checks the uh, wiring he checks the gas he checks the fire extinguishers he checks the engine bay it's a whole check of the whole area so he did a really thorough check but he said I needed I needed um, some electrical cables put into some conduit on the front and a few other bits and bobs but nothing serious but it passed anyway so I'm very happy Chris the examiner said I've got to this wire being bare wire being uh, zip it tighter there it's got to go inside the conduits for the horn so I put it inside this he gave me some of this Chris did brilliant bloke so I put it inside there and it goes up to the hawk to these lights sorry not the horn horns there so there we are that's that done